Pokemon Legends Z2A will finally light the spotlight that has been shut off and looming over Zygarde for way too long. This Pokemon is one of the biggest mysteries to come out of a region that was filled with biggest mysteries like the Ghost Girl and the Clock with 13 Hours. But now, well, now we are finally on the road to knowing more about it. But until then, we got to check on what we already know. So hey, I'm not so a strainer, and what about Zygarde? Let's get into it. Zygarde was what we call the third legendary from Pokemon X and Y, the Gen 6 games that introduced the 3D era of Pokemon. But while other third legendaries or important Pokemon would often get a new game that adapted the plot to add some lore about them, Zygarde got nothing. The fabled Pokemon Z never materialized and all we got was a subplot in Alola that had us gathering cells. Still, even this ended up not really developing its lore and just added to its coolness and mystery. Of course, we had it in Sword and Shield in the Dynamax Adventures, but those legendaries are just there for that delicious Eternatus power. Pokemon Legends Z to A will very likely change this, of course, just like Pokemon Legends Arceus introduced some new lore to the Sinoan and Isuian myths as well as to the myth of Arceus. But until then, well, until then we have the wait. And what better way to start the wait by asking, what is Zygarde? Zygarde is known as the Order Pokemon, and while we met him as the protector of Kalos, the Alolan games expanded its role to the protector of the overall ecosystem. It is basically the fusion of two things, Zygarde Cells and Zygarde Cores. Both of those things are weak and can't be used in battle, but they're the reason behind why Zygarde can do what it is supposed to do and monitor the ecosystem. That's because the Zygarde Cells, which there are 100 of in Alola, are scattered around the region and serve as the eyes and body of its five Zygarde Cores. They have the role of monitoring everything and are basically its mind. This can be seen in the Alolan games as finding the cores means being able to teach Zygarde new moves. This will likely play a very important role in the new Legends Z2A game, as 5 Zygarde cores go very well with the 5 plazas of Lumio City. But that's not where Zygarde ends of course, and we know that this Pokemon has multiple known forms and they are related to both cells and cores and also to the ability power construct. While we met it in Kalos in its 50% form and for a while assumed that's just how it always looked, we came to know that that wasn't quite the case. Zygarde's 10% form is achieved when Zygarde has about 10% of its cells. It has a canine look that is likely inspired by Fenrir, one of Loki's children with Angerboda, the mother of monsters. It is faster than the other forms and from its Pokedex entries it seems it uses its speed to reach destinations that are in trouble. Zygarde's 50% form is achieved when Zygarde has about 50% of its cells. It has a more serpent-like design resembling the letter Z and could be inspired on Yormungandr, another one of Loki's children with Agroboda. It is more defensive and it is the original Pokemon we saw Zygarde as before we knew about its other forms, cells and cores. And finally we have the complete form that can only be achieved if we have 100% of the cores and cells of a Zygarde and when, during battle, its HP drops to 50% or less. It is also necessary to have the ability power construct to achieve this form. It might be based on Hell, ruler of Helheim, and yet another child from Loki with the mother of monsters. It clearly also has a bit of a mecha thing going on, of course. When it transforms, it also gets an insane amount of HP. It is a dragon and ground type Pokemon and the only one capable of learning the moves Thousand Arrows, Thousand Waves, Core Enforcer and Lance Wrath. Surely one of the most unique Pokemons we ever got, but what else do we know about it? Well, this is where we hit a mecha sized wall. Like I mentioned, there's nothing about Zygarde in Kalos besides its presence in the Terminus Cave, and it's in Alola that Xena and Dexio give us the Zygarde Cube and tell us to collect cells in order to complete the Z Pokemon. From the fact that the Aether Foundation has the reassembly unit, we can assume that there was an interest in using Zygarde and considering how Dexio and Cena appear to imply that the reason the Order Pokemon is there might be because of the Ultra Beasts, it could be that Luzamine wanted to use it to defeat them. We cannot forget that they did create Type Null exactly with that goal in mind. Still, this is all we have about Zygarde in that region and it's all speculation. There is one question we can ask, of course, and that is, considering its connection to Evil Talent Xerneas, which we can see from its Pokedex entry, what's Zygarde's connection to Mega Evolution? 
Well, even though Xerneas and Eveltal are connected to Mega Evolution since their energy is the one that powered up the ultimate weapon and that Professor Sycamore theorizes infused evolutionary and special stones with Mega Energy, Zygarde is never mentioned in any of these tales. In fact, we barely have any tales. Zygarde acts as the silent protector of the ecosystem and unlike other regions where we have old legends about their respective legendary Pokemon, there's nothing about this one. I have no doubt about its connection to Mega Evolution, but even Mega Evolution itself is a mystery. This is why Pokemon Legends Z2A will very likely change the way we look at one of the most important lores in the Pokemon world, the lore of the Kalos region and the lore of how the ultimate weapon and Mega Evolution changed the Pokemon world. And that is all I have for you today. The goal of this video is to show you how little we know about one of the most interesting Pokemons out there and how Pokemon Legends Z2A can absolutely change that. But what about you? What do you feel they really need to explain about Zygarde? Let me know in the comments down below. And now, like the video if you like it, dislike if you don't, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content and also ring the bell so you know when the next video is out. Also, you can become a channel member or check out my merch to further support the channel and I'd be forever thankful for that. You can follow me on social media or check out one of my streams here and on Twitch every day of the week. All the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on the next one.